this is season two of Just Got Paged, and I'm Haley Page, my bulldog Winnie, and in today's video, I thought we would talk about bridesmaids. Shopping for your bridesmaid dresses can be just as daunting as shopping for a wedding dress, and in my experience, I have seven top tips that I want to share with you that will hopefully make the shopping process a little bit easier and a lot less pressuresome. Tip one, research. Tip two, budget. Tip three, mix and match styles. Tip four, bridal party participants. Tip five, relinquish control. Tip six, get measured. And your final tip, tip seven, sparkle swag. If you're just joining us, be sure to subscribe below because we do a ton of fabulous wedding related content and I just can't wait to share it with you. So your first tip is to do your research and get started early. It's obviously very exciting the minute you get engaged, but you also kind of want to just enjoy the moment. Do a bit of online shopping, head to Pinterest, go to Instagram, just kind of embrace the moment and look at what's out there. See what different styles there are, different designers, and just start taking a memory of things that you really gravitate toward. Of course, the earlier you start, the less likely you're going to be giving yourself the pressure to make a quick decision. Tip two is to start the conversation of budget. This can obviously be a little bit of a tricky topic, but first I recommend deciding whether you as the bride are gonna offer to pay for the gowns or you're expecting your bridesmaids to pick up their individual tabs. It's also important to, again, do your research and be on the lookout for trunk shows because you can save a heap of money with those. It really is a nice thing to kind of all be on the same page. That doesn't necessarily mean you need to ask for every individual bridesmaid's opinion, but it's nice to have a range and see what's out there in terms of price point. All right, so tip three is to not feel obligated to go so matchy-matchy with your styles. It's so nice to have a versatility and a difference in all the different looks that you can play with, especially tapping into each girl's unique and individual style. Also, think about size range because we have some friends that are size two and some friends that are size 28. So it's kind of nice to think about what they would feel the most comfortable in. And what's great about Haley Page Occasions and a number of other designers is that we have a plethora of styles all in the same fabrication or in the same shade. So you can really play up the whole idea stylistically. And again, this goes back to tip one, doing your research and seeing what's out there and just getting ideas for reference and inspiration. Tip number four is to think about who you want in your bridal party and to kind of be open to the idea of bringing in some other people. And what I mean by that is you might have a flower girl or a junior bridesmaid or you might have a bridesman joining your crew. So when you think about all these people that you have to dress and all the different opportunities you have to kind of make a style statement, it really brings a whole big party to the table and it creates a huge new landscape to have some fun. All right, so moving on to tip five, just because you're the bride, it doesn't mean that you have to make all of these decisions. You're more than welcome to relinquish the control and put it on to your bridesmaids and your bridal party. It's really fun to sometimes just give them a parameter and say, this is the budget, this is the designer, this is the color, or this is the fabrication, and just kind of see what they come up with. And then of course you're allowed to go back in and maybe make some edits, but it is really fun to make them feel like they have a sense of autonomy and that they're helping you make some decisions along the way. Tip six is to make sure your bridesmaids get properly measured. There's a limit in sizes. Of course, we did our work in measuring our bridesmaids, but when the gown actually comes in, we don't wanna have the expectation that it's going to fit perfectly because each designer is different. It goes off of a unique sizing chart. So it's important to let your girls know that most likely alterations will be needed, whether it's a hemming or a simple taking in at the bust or the center back. These are very normal uh, requirements typically of a bridesmaid dress. And of course there is the rare occasion where it comes in and fits perfectly and bravo to that when it happens. We are already onto our final tip for our bridesmaid shopping experience and that is to think about sparkle swag. Obviously, we want this gorgeous look on the day of, but it's really fun to get invested in the whole spirit of getting married and having your girls there to support you, which is why we have come up with our pop-up page shop, which has a variety of fun little 
gadgets and gizmos aplenty to pick from. These make great gifts for your bridesmaids. I also love the hologram app leisure wear because these are super fun to rock on the day of when you're all getting your hair and makeup done. They're also really fun on bachelorette parties. Just gonna say that. <laughs> and I love the idea of shopping for your bridesmaids so much that I'm gonna give you an exclusive promo code for our pop-up page, 15% off the entire site if you use the code YouTube page 15. All right, well that pretty much wraps up our top tips for bridesmaid shopping, but we're gonna give you a quick pro tip. We're gonna take it back to tip number two, which is to keep in mind budget. Remember that everyone has a different budget and different expectations when it comes to participating in your wedding day. So when it comes to hair and makeup, of course it is super fun to have a hair and makeup team there to get everyone glamified and looking fabulous, but it can also tack on extra cost. What I like to do is encourage the idea of making this optional. You can always provide a reference and say, you're more than welcome to do your own hair and makeup. This is kind of the look that I'm going for or just kind of give them free range. Thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe below and we will see you in our next video. Keep calm, sparkle on, ladies.